Hi friends, I'm Happy Traum coming to you from Woodstock, New York. And in this lesson, I'm going to show you a really cool, but very simple little lick that you can do on the guitar. It's just a sequence of harmony notes, but it really is rich and full and sounds really good in a number of bluesy kinds of songs, especially. Uh, it's in the key of E. And um, so if we start out here with a, an E chord, And as you'll see in the tablature, it's basically got three different shapes. Well, it's four, but one of them repeats. So it starts out really with the part of the E chord. I'm only going to be playing, though, the fifth string and the third string of the E chord. And with my right hand, I'm playing my thumb on the fifth string, my index finger on the third string, and I'm going to pinch those notes Okay, just playing those two notes. Okay, then I'm going to move this first finger up one fret, and I'm going to substitute my ring finger one fret higher. So now I'm on the second and the fourth frets, and this is really part of an A chord with a C sharp in the bass. Okay, so now we start out with the E. Then we go up to an A. Then we go up here. And again, now I'm just sliding up to the fourth and fifth frets. Same two strings. And I'm still pinching the fifth and third strings. Then back down to that A shape, two, two finger A shape. So here's the whole thing. And that's your example one. Now for the example two, I'm going to just add a little first string here with my second finger. Now you could use your first finger also. I like to use two fingers and thumb with my right hand. So I'm going to play a pinch, then your open first string. And instead of just pinching on that, I'm going to hammer on with my first finger, just a little grace note. And then your second position, third, and back down. In rhythm, it's... And then in example three, it's the same thing, except I'm going to make a little triplet with my right hand. Not doing anything different with the left hand, but um, as you'll see, I'm going to pinch fifth and third strings, play my first string open, and then I come back to the third string with my index finger. Notice how my first finger never really leaves the fingerboard. Uh, and I'm sliding up to make it very smooth. I'm even sliding up from the third to the fourth fret with my first finger. Okay, now in example four. I'm just substituting just to make a little um, sonic change, uh, just as a variation. You can add your bass note there as the third of the triplet. Just to make a little change there. Now, as you probably know, in the key of E, your next chord that you're probably going to want to go to is your A, your four chord. And if you move this up to the, so this is the sixth and seventh fret, it's the same as if you're playing an A chord barring the 
fifth fret and I'm just playing these notes okay and then the pattern stays exactly the same I'm just doing the same thing and adding my open E string and I can slide into that first Back to okay so far now the next chord that you're probably going to want to go to in the key of E is a B or B seventh and once again if this is A and this is I, I realize I don't have any fret markers here so you're gonna have to just sort of count this is my 6th and 7th fret. Well, I'm going to go to the 8th and 9th frets. Okay. Now, the open E string is going to sound quite as good with the B. That just doesn't sound right. So, instead of the open E, I'm going to play the open B string here. and then down to your A and now I'm going to come back to my E string and back to E so let's put this whole thing together in a 12 bar blues sequence and as you probably know, in the 12 bar blues, you've got four bars of E, two bars of A, two bars of E again, one bar of B or B seventh, one bar of A or A seventh, and two more bars of E. And if my math is right, that'll make 12 bars. So let's see if I can get through 12 bars playing just this pattern. Now, probably most of the time, if you're, um, playing a song, you're not going to do this all the way through exactly the same. But for practice purposes now, it's good to be able to just get your fingers under this, get the, get it smooth, get it sliding right, and let's see what comes out here. And play along with me if you can. Okay, starting one E with a hammer on. fourth bar. Now I'm going to go to A. Going back to E now. Now watch out for the B here. A. Back to E. a little slower than you might do it. You might build it up a little bit. Think of uh, I ride a mail train, baby. Can't buy a thrill. Or something like that. Or Corina, Corina. Yeah, where you been? So have fun with that and uh, try to get it smooth and easy and uh, hope to see you again down the road. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.